What is going on trainers? Welcome back to another Pokemon battle in the Global Pokemon Society Draft League. Uh, once again, I am your host Chris Elanius. Um, today we're going to be focusing on a little bit of the pre-game discussion in our next battle as well as having that battle a little bit later in the video. So we're going to take a quick look at the teams, kind of talk about my strategy a little bit, figure out what our options are and what we need to prepare for in our next match. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. You guys can see my opponent over here. This is the Florida Feraligators, and this is their team. We've got G-Max Colossal, G-Max Appleton, Rotom Wash, Porygon 2, Amoongus, Dragapult, Excavalier, Torkoal, Tauros, and Venusaur. Now, um, you guys are familiar with our team, the Desert Diamond Dwellers. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so this is our team here. We got to figure out the best way to go against these guys. So I've looked a little bit into their typing and what kind of things we can consider with this. Uh, and it looks like this is kind of some things I wrote down to keep in track, to keep in mind for their battle. So Colossal, which I think is going to be his G Max choice for this battle, um, is a Rock Fire type, which is double weak to Fire. So that's something we can take into consideration as well. Um, we got Appleton is double weak to Ice. Excavalier will be double weak to Fire. He's also got Amoongus, which has a regular weakness to it's the fire is super effective to the grass but the poison kind of makes it um, not as effective as fire would be against these other Pokemon um, Torkoal's weakness is only water Porygon um, the only real weakness the only real strength they have against Porygon 2 is potentially fire which isn't crazy effective but that's going to be the route we have to go if he brings Porygon 2 out. Rotom Wash, our best choice against this guy is going to be ground type moves. So with that being said, um, we we have to figure it out. I don't know exactly how I want to go with this. Let's take another look at the team now that we've seen kind of my notes on the situation. Um, I think Torkoal and Venusaur are here for to be sunsetters basically um, kind of get that sunlight going um, but I don't know if that's really something that's important to the strategy if that makes any sense so we have to figure out um, what they're likely to use and what our best possible counters will be um, once again Colossal so between G Max Appleton and G Max Colossal Appleton is double weak to ice um, so I almost always bring my Alolan Ninetales I don't mean to um, but I feel like we might not be seeing Appleton because he knows I bring ice fairly frequently so that being said I think Colossal might be the better G-Max between them anyway he's double weak let's see Oh, he's double weak to water. So, um, what I think we're going to do is really mix this up. I've also been using Toxtricity a lot. So, I think he might expect me to use my Toxtricity instead of Inteleon. I don't think I've used Inteleon once since we've started the league. So, that's where I'm going to throw a uh, curveball is bringing Inteleon in. Um, since Colossal's Rock Fire, that should be a great counter to that. Now, I know he's going to bring either Among Us or a Scavalier. Um, so we kind of need some fire, basically. Uh, the fire won't be as effective to Among Us, but fortunately for us, Licky Licky knows a fire move. I don't know what I have on him. It might be a bad idea, but I did it anyway. Um, he has Fire Blast, and then he is currently holding charcoal to boost the power of the fire type moves so that should be okay like to help counter because fire will do decent enough damage to this fire will be double effective to a scavalier uh, on top of that fire is the best sh 
strength I have against Porygon at this time. So, I think that's a good choice. Not only that, Lickitung is, um, he's also got a couple other good moves on him that will possibly need to be used in this battle, but he's also got a lot of HP, and I think he's going to hold up pretty well this time. Um, as far as Venusaur, if Venusaur comes in, we're going to be bringing Alola Ninetales, um, and Alola Ninetales can use Blizzard to do super effective damage, as well as hit what, uh, whatever other Pokemon he chooses to bring in the beginning. So, I think... I think G-Max Colossal is going to probably come out right away. It's really hard to say. Um, but I think what we're going to want to do is start Licky Licky. And our Inteleon. I think that's the way we're going to go. We might switch it up in the moment. Um, might do a Lola Ninetales. Not sure which one I'd switch it out for. But, yeah, I think that's how we're going to play this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the battle, guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do the same for my opponent. Um, I will find out if they have a YouTube channel. If they do not, um, leave some support for them down in my comments. What is going on, trainers? We're hopping straight into that battle. We are going up against the Fara... <laughs> the Florida for alligators all right this is our code we're gonna go ahead and enter this so we can find them to start our match of course as always it's gonna be a double battle I'm very excited for this I have finally changed out the items on my Pokemon so I am no longer mean amongst the rest of the competition <laughs> imagine if this was a shiny Lanoon I didn't mean to get into this battle Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I think I can win. Um, I don't know for sure that I will, but I am going to try my best, and I think I have a decent enough chance, so let's just make sure we're connected to the internet. Boom. All right. So we are just waiting for the opponent. He already has our code. And there we go, trainers. Let's get into it with the Florida for alligators. I did, however, forget to change my character icon again. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's fine with me. I don't like deciding the battle rules. So I'm all good. I got some premium... PewDiePie, G Fuel, help me through this battle. This is the key, the answer to my prayers. Oh, he did. He quit deciding the rules, so I'm gonna have to do that. Decide myself. All right, participating team. These guys. Got, oh, you gotta sit down. You gotta sit down. So he's got Colossal, uh, Dragapult, Tauros, Rotom, Venusaur, Amoongus. So what we are gonna do, he is probably gonna bring out Colossal, which is weak to water. Um, and I don't know. Either Venusaur or Amoongus, I would think. So we need to go this route okay yeah I think what we're gonna do here is this wish me luck trainers we're getting into the battle we'll see what he ends up choosing I don't know what he'll choose out of those six for the rest of his 
for the rest of the battle, but we will figure that out for sure. This is fine. I, I can use Blizzard. Actually, I meant to bring out Inteleon first, so that was bad. Now that I think about it. Because I knew he was bringing Colossal out. So I meant to bring out Inteleon. I don't know what I was thinking! Dazzling Gleam. Dark Pulse. Blizzard. Blizzard's gonna be the way to go there. Ideally, like I said, I've already messed up how I start wanted to start, but all we can do is our best moving forward, but I know that might end up costing me a little bit, put me at a disadvantage. Fortunately, Blizzard is a move that is super effective to the dragon um, and does a little bit of damage to Colossal, so there's that. Hopefully this works out. This was kind of risky to put Rillaboom out right now, since Colossal's out there, but if all goes well, it should be fine. damage but we're still in here our attack fell a little bit don't like that but oh no yeah if I started with Inteleon this would have been fine
R.I.P. R.I.P. Licky Licky. I've pretty much accepted that this this match is not going my way. That is a okay. That should probably take the little down. Nope. Oh, we're still going. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to ideally see one other Pokemon that he's brought for this battle. So if I can take the Colossal down real quick, that would be epic gamer moment. I don't know how my Rillaboom is hanging in there. He brought Tauros. Tauros is a normal type, I believe. So Rillaboom with the fighting should be a decent counter. That's fine, guys. Round one, you know, it was a uh, search and receive info mission this time. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna win this time. Play with same rules, play with same team. We might change up the order a little bit here. We don't want Togekiss in there. Togekiss will go down. Because of the steel typing. Well, maybe we do want Togekiss in there actually. So he, we saw him last time with Dragapult, uh, Colossal, uh, Tauros, and I believe we will see um, Venusaur or Amoongus. I don't think Rotom is coming out this round. So I might actually be wrong on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to start Snubbaking. Enter. I wish I could look at their moves in here, because I can't remember all the moves on these guys. <laughs> uh, Colossal will destroy Rillaboom. In G-Max form, Colossal will destroy Tongue Pun. Uh, Halsey? My queen. Maybe it's Halsey time, dude. She's never let me down before. Except for those times that she did. Alright. Now I'm nervous, man. But I think we'll do okay. You'd think my Inteleon would be faster than his Colossal, though. G Max Hydro Snipe. Bruh. And with Calm Mind. You go, Halsey. Halsey should be safe to do a Calm Mind because he knows I've got my G Max Pokemon out. So, um, he's probably going to go and try and attack that first. So, 
doing Column Mind right now would be good. Uh, hopefully, Inteleon can mess up Colossal, and then we can use uh, Psy Shock from Halsey on the Dragon Ball. Which will do super effective damage, and it'll be boosted from the Calm Mind. Is to be expected. What can I say? I believe Calm Mind also raises Gothitelle's uh, special defense, so that should help. Nice. Do some damage to that Colossal. Although his speed rose. So that's not good to see, man. Not what we want to see. Max Overgrowth. Not good. I do not like these choices. These Pokemon are so fast though, that's like the, the biggest part of the problem. gonna do this and hopefully we can take the colossal out. We may have a chance if we do that. Yikes, bro. Yikes. Oh no. Oh no. Not good, my friends, not good. But can Lickitung carry the team? We'll find out, no. Jeez. Yeah, even if uh, Rillaboom got his attack off, I don't think that would've been enough.
don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm realizing this too late, but no wonder this went this way. Because he keeps lowering the attack of my Pokemon. Well, there you have it, trainers. We suck. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm gonna cancel the battle. Uh, that was fun though. Uh, really makes me think about my team, man. Maybe Toxtricity would have been okay. This round. I didn't realize uh, G-Max Colossal could learn, uh, or regular Colossal could learn um, that grass move, so I guess that was part of my downfall. Um, I thought my downfall in another in the first battle was not putting Inteleon out first. But even uh, Dynamaxing, prior to his Colossal Dynamaxing, he still was able to take down my Inteleon. Um, so that sucks. And then it looks like probably... Uh, like, for how much trouble I was having with Colossal, I didn't expect to be having so much. Um, Rillaboom was a bad backup. Gothitelle isn't super tanky, so, you know, it's okay, but definitely not a good matchup. And then, Alolan Ninetales. Uh, Alolan Ninetales normally puts in work. I kind of expected uh, Dragapult to be in this battle for sure, so I was trying to prepare for that. Uh, and I thought that the Blizzard would hit Dragapult, Amoongus, Dragapult and Amoongus or Venusaur. I thought it would it'd work out like that. Um, he had a different strategy in mind. I didn't really realize that like his goal was to keep lowering my attack with the Dragapult. I was so distracted by the, the uh, Dynamax Colossal because that was killing everything, dude. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how I could have done better. But, I'll figure out. I'll figure it out. You know, this may mean I'm not moving on to the majors this season, but I learned a lot. There's some other things I should have considered in this battle, obviously. Um, and that being said, I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you out in the next video. Uh, make sure to go check out the Global Pokemon Society for putting together this tournament and organizing everything and, uh, you know, just making this all possible for a bunch of strangers well i guess i'm the only they're all strangers to me <laughs> but they all know each other uh, yeah just it's a fun league having a lot of fun uh all the other contestants battles are on the global pokemon society page on youtube so go, just go check them out check out some other battles with people who actually know what they're doing uh to a certain degree this is the miners league but he's got a Majors League where all the battles are posted as well. So guys, I will see you out in the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. Whoa, whoa.